The, Flo the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, welcomes you to the public information meeting for the State Road A1A Safety Improvements Project in Volusia County, Florida. Financial Project ID Number 443512-1 We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by January 22, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. This presentation is posted on the project webpage. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com slash project slash 443512-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to ty.garner at dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. You may mail written comments and questions to Project Manager Ty Garner, FDOT, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5299 and provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5, Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367 or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website, Daytona Beach News Journal, and on the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. FDOT is proposing safety improvements along State Road A1A from Millsap Road to Granada Boulevard, also known as State Road 40 in Ormond Beach. 
The purpose of this project is to improve traffic operations and enhance pedestrian safety. The project also plans to improve pavement conditions with milling and resurfacing along the corridor. The area along the corridor is made up of numerous condominiums and hotels, mainly along the east side of the road. The majority of the residential area lies on the west side of A1A, mixed in with restaurants and shopping areas. There are beach access points throughout the project limits along with public parking. With these area amenities comes a number of residents and visitors crossing State Road A1A to get to the beach and other destinations. There are currently no pedestrian mid-block crossings present within the project limits. FDOT's public outreach process is essential to incorporating the local input and needs into the plan's development process. A public hearing was held in December of 2020 to present the design plans for public input. Comments received during the public hearing included support for mid-block crossings along the corridor, concerns about the proposed directional medians, and drivers' ability to negotiate U-turns, requests for a safer crossing at Millsap Road, and desire for speed control along the corridor. We have heard your concerns and have implemented the feedback we received during the public hearing into the design plans being presented here tonight. The proposed typical section would provide two 11-foot wide travel lanes in each direction and a 17 to 17 and a half foot wide center two-way left turn lane along the project corridor. The existing five foot wide sidewalks are separated from the curb and gutter by a two foot wide buffer on both sides of the roadway. All improvements will be constructed within the existing right-of-way. This project plans to construct eight pedestrian crossings at Millsap Road Benjamin Drive, River Beach Drive, Rockefeller Drive, Arlington Way, Ormond Parkway, Osceola Avenue, and Bosarvi Drive. There are various tools FDOT utilizes to improve pedestrian safety at a roadway crossing. FDOT plans to use two types of traffic control devices to improve pedestrian safety at the proposed pedestrian crossing locations. The first is a rectangular rapid-flashing beacon, also referred to as an RRFB. This traffic control device includes rectangular-shaped flashing yellow lights that are intended to increase driver awareness of pedestrians crossing roadways at marked crosswalks. The second traffic control device is a pedestrian hybrid beacon, also referred to as PHB. A PHB is an overhead traffic device that resembles a regular traffic signal. The signal will remain dark until the pedestrian activates the beacon, signaling for drivers to stop and pedestrians to cross. PHBs offer an overhead signal, making them more visible from a distance. Additional crosswalk enhancements to increase driver awareness are raised crosswalks and in-road lighting. Raised crosswalks encourage drivers to reduce speeds, and in-road lighting improves the driver's ability to see when the RRFB is activated. Audible pedestrian signals, or APS, will also be installed to provide accessibility for the visually impaired. Seven of the eight pedestrian crossings will include rectangular rapid flashing beacons, or RRFBs, audible pedestrian signal, or APS, overhead lighting, and in-road lighting. Raised crosswalks are proposed at the north and south end of the project corridor. These raised crosswalks are intended to encourage drivers to reduce speeds upon entering the corridor and improve safety for pedestrians. To use an RRFB, pedestrians press a button to activate the signal and yellow lights will flash to alert drivers that a pedestrian is crossing. Drivers and cyclists should slow down and be prepared to stop for anyone in the crosswalk. 
Pedestrians should always make sure drivers see you first and stop before you step into the roadway. For more information about RRFBs and other safety strategies, please visit alerttodayflorida.com. To increase driver awareness at Rockefeller Drive, a pedestrian hybrid beacon, or PHB, will be installed and will include audible pedestrian signals, or APS, and overhead lighting. To use a PHB, pedestrians press a button to activate the signal, and flashing yellow lights followed by a solid yellow light alerts drivers to slow down. Two solid red lights require drivers to stop for pedestrians crossing the street. Pedestrians should only cross the street if the walk signal is displayed and when vehicles have stopped. Once the overhead beacon flashes red, drivers may proceed with caution if the crosswalk is clear. For more information about PHBs and other safety strategies, please visit alerttodayflorida.com. This project also plans to construct three raised landscaped islands, which would range from 85 feet to 110 feet long. The islands will help to encourage slower driving speeds and to help enhance pedestrian safety. Raised islands will be constructed north of Wren Road, north of North Shore Drive, and north of Byron Ellis Drive. Design plans are scheduled to be completed in spring 2022, and construction is funded for summer 2022. The cost for construction is estimated at $3.3 million. To follow the status of the project, please visit the project page on the FDOT Central Florida website, www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 443512-1 in the search box at the top right corner of the page, then click on Go. The recording of this presentation and all materials shown here tonight are currently available on the website. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by January 22, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com slash project slash 443512-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly to ty.garner at dot.state.fl.us. You may mail written comments and questions to project manager Ty Garner FDOT, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5299 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by January 22, 2022. Contact Information 
A recording of this public meeting, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com. Please remember to type the project number 443512-1 into the search box, then click Go. Have a good evening.